Is your life getting a little bit too unbearable? Try Bear! It's Bear with blogging. It's free, it's cool, and it's run by Herman. Is your blog run by Herman? I thought not. Okay, let's take a look at this here. They got a discovery page, which is perfect for if you're at work and you just want something to read and you don't want a bunch of dinguses and stuff popping up on the screen. Like, look at this. Nice little blog about Japanese stationery, purposeful living, Sunday reflection. Just really, really nice things to just take in a little bit. And another cool thing, this like button right here, you can actually hit it without even logging into an account. So you don't even need an account to start browsing bearblog.dev at work because it's it's not offensive, but it's also not Reddit, okay? Look, AWS tidbit, all these cool little articles on here, they're gonna show up on the most recent and the trending. And if you look at the bottom of this trending part right here, you'll notice they actually just spell out the algorithm for how things trend right here. It's completely transparent. It tells you exactly why something is trending based on a number of upvotes, seconds it's uh, existed since 2020, and then some day modifiers and other weights put in. So really transparent. I usually just use the most recent tab over here under the discovery feed. You can also filter by language and it's it's pretty active if you look at it eight minutes ago 15 minutes ago only an hour ago you get about what like a hundred posts a day or something like that not like a ton but enough to where you're still getting quality posts and the whole thing it's a, it's a github little MIT licensed product um, project not product um, and it's not really meant to be self-hosted like your Fediverse type instances, your Mastodons of the world, but I think it works okay as a, its own platform, sort of like NeoCities, but for blogging. And look, we got Herman. Look at this face here. Look at this Herman. He's a good dude. Uh, apparently, he just wakes up every morning, has his coffee, and reviews the blogs every morning. It's like his own personal thing, and he has his own little blog section here too because it's it's kind of made for him so if something's on the site it's up to Herman's discretion and I think I'm okay with Herman as like benevolent dictator for life as they call it in the Linux world BDFL you know if you if you spell out BDFL it doesn't sound as as good as benevolent dictator okay got so like, you know, your Linus Torvalds or something. It's kind of that kind of figure. So um, our posts on here just use Markdown for the most part. Uh, you can throw in some HTML a little bit, like with this pre-tag that I had to throw in for some ASCII art. Um, on my site, you'll see we've got Dilbert right here. And yeah, definitely if you ever use ASCII art, make sure to use this pre-tag here. Um, just encapsulate it in both of those tags. I just like ASCII art. And you can have little pages on here, like got a link to my YouTube, I've got my blog archive, and any one of my blog posts here, now that my blog's been approved, which you can, you know, ask for approval on your main dashboard page, um, after it's been approved, it can show up on the discovery feed to be discovered by others. It's really cool. And that's also opt-out. But, take a look at this uh, projects page we got here too, so, yeah, you too can pro procrastinate and, and not do stuff. Say that you have a bunch of projects. And, most importantly, I've got the Bear Bud web ring, okay? The best damn web ring. I know it's the best because it only has me in it right now. So, Please make a blog on here. Head over to sr.bearblog.dev and please join my web ring. Please. So, oh yeah, this is what I use for ASCII art. I've also got this nice uh, guest book right here. So if we take a look at uh, meadow.cafe, this meadow person, 
seems to make a lot of really cool extensions um, and other things you can use. So I've, I signed up for a guest book and yeah, now if you go over to my page, go over to the guest book, you can write a little thing, got a security question right here and I've also got my uh, RSS feed so you can follow it on RSS and a little contact page about how damn hard it is to contact me sometimes sorry about that link to the YouTube just all that stuff all the good stuff and um, Meadow they also have um, what I, I think is a pretty good tool because you're going down like the discovery feed that's fine but you want to just subscribe by RSS to a few people, check out uh, Meyer.meadow.cafe. And this is their own little project that was forked from this uh, Vor.website. And so, in case you don't want Vor.website on your work history, um, check out Meyer.meadow.cafe. Nothing against Vor.website, you know. they're it's what started this thing but you'll notice it looks just as minimal as the actual bearblog.dev site which I, I think is pretty cool so you sign up for Meyer, and then you can just have your own feed on here like I'm just following a couple things or there's also the discover which is everything everyone else also follows but you got your personal right there so you sign up you make sure to, um, what, I, what I always do is number of unread posts to load in home screen. I just set this to zero. Don't need it. Um, then you punch in like a site to subscribe to. So it's basically like, like name of blog dot bear blog dot dev forward slash feed. And that'll get you the Atom feed. You can do the little question mark thing. You get an RSS feed that's how you feed you feed like this site forward slash feed throw it in there hit subscribe and you're subscribed really easy cool to manage um, they've also got fido.meadow.cafe which will check for broken links on your site really helpful and um, most importantly so when you're making a post on bear blog it's gonna use Markdown, which is totally cool. I use Markdown. It's pretty easy. Uh, Herman's got a, a cheat sheet here that you can use. Cause why, you know, why wouldn't he? It's Herman. He's got everything. So you hit that if you want a refresher on it, or you could be lazy. So Streets of Chance over here is hooking us up. They've got a really cool like uh, script here so you, you copy the script copy this over uh, you go over to like your main uh, dashboard over here then there is a customized dashboard button right here take a look at that and in the bottom part the uh, dashboard footer content just paste that right in there and boom you got a nice little editor for editing the markdown in like a GUI um, just in case you don't want to remember all this extra stuff you can just highlight stuff and then be like boom 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 I mean it's it's basically the same as putting a bunch of like pound symbols in front of your stuff or whatever markdown thing you're doing or you just highlight it and just have it a link right there so the square stuff is like what it says this part of the HTTPS and the and the parentheses that's going to be the actual link so just just basic stuff like that it's nice to have as a um, an add-on for it so community is really big on customization and it's really uh, encouraging because there's all sorts of cool things you can do with bear blog that I haven't even been come up with yet so got that cheat sheet that site and just you may want to check out docs.bearblog.dev um, just in case they've got all the documentation for the site how to start your own thing how to add stuff in all the good deets and it's pretty easy there's also like a, 
a paid tier you can use. It, it's completely up to you, but it's like six bucks a month if you want to upload images to their site versus hosting them on other sites, and if you want JavaScript for some reason. Uh, found all of this because of this haddock.neocities.org page. Uh, so this haddock person was using like a a Hugo theme that was based off of Bear Blog. Now Hugo is like a static site generator. It's neither here nor there, but really cool. Like Bear Blog is so sturdy that it's the kind of thing you want like a Hugo theme of. Um, unrelated. I, I do have a video about Neo Cities if you ever want to use it. I can't imagine why people didn't click on it. I really can't. That that site's still up. I don't think I'm going to be using it anytime soon, but just in case. Okay, main site, sr.bearblog.dev. Let's check it out. 